Hi, I'm Erin Gleason, and today I'll be talking about IBM Watson Health, powering the future of artificial intelligence and big data analytics in healthcare. What is Watson Health? Ever since Watson won Jeopardy in 2011, IBM's Watson has gained notoriety outside of tech artificial intelligence circles. But what is it ex exactly? Watson is a wide range of artificial intelligence techniques in ancillary programs that include Watson's core strength, which is its ability to read and interpret words, known as natural language processing. Watson is a cloud that can apply natural language processing to machine, medicine, voice recognition, sentiment analysis, business analytics, and more. The New York Times said of artificial intelligence in an article, Quote, today, the AI business experts say resembles the internet in the mid 1990s, a thing on its own that eventually will be built into all kinds of products and services, end quote. Watson would essentially be the platform where many applications are built. Watson uses a unique decision-making framework that enables the program to analyze vast sources of data. IBM relies on other big names in technology and stream analytics to enable a cloud platform for stream analytics. Established as a customizable platform, Watson leverages its data infrastructure, vast amounts of data, and the knowledge of experts to sell its platform to consumers. IBM is spending a lot of money on Watson, hoping that artificial intelligence is their answer to stagnated sales as other cloud platforms continue to compete, such as Google and Amazon. IBM needs this growth because while its new business, like Watson, data analytics and cloud computing are growing, it's not fast enough to outpace the decline in revenue from IBM's traditional service offerings, including hardware, software, and service lines. When the healthcare division of Watson, Watson Health, was announced in 2015, Watson Health was described as a three-tiered system, a cloud platform, data analytics consulting services, and applications built on the cloud platform that drive health solutions. Watson Health leverages the vast amount of data in its platform to run prescriptive analytics. In 2015, IBM spent $4 billion buying a handful of companies with a lot of medical data, such as billing records, patient histories, x-ray, and MRI images. One of these companies was Explorus, a cloud, computing, a cloud platform as a service computing infrastructure. IBM counts many large healthcare pharmacies and health systems as data partners, including CVS, Medtronic, Johnson & Johnson, Apple, and Under Armour. In 2016, IBM standardized some of its services across the existing SaaS and PASS capabilities and packaged them together as Watson Health Core. IBM boasts its Watson Health Core platform is designed and inspired by physicians. It is a HIPAA compliant, protected, cloud-based analytics platform that harnesses big data for clinical integration, predictive analytics, and business intelligence. The platform consists of three key elements, a big data infrastructure, a large and ever-growing network of healthcare systems and data points, and pre-built analytic solutions and consulting services. Watson Health is prevalent in many different areas across the continuum of, continuum of care, from primary care offices to hospital and ambulatory services. Watson Health's core capabilities include integrating complex health data into a HIPAA compliant platform. Watson Health is also the landing zone where this multidimensional data can be captured and normalized for health and research applications. Watson also de-identifies data to share for analysis. Analytics services help organizations manage, manage risk and gain competitive advantage, all the while placing in the context, them in the context of their peer group. Watson Health Core provides cloud infrastructure that is HIPAA compliant. It provides data governance tools to reduce unnecessary access across the system. This also allows the ability to mask and separate patient identity, opening up a vast data lake with millions of de-identified patient treatments and outcomes. This is of great interest not only for providers, but also drug manufacturers and medical device manufacturers who can now run analysis without having to apply for identified data sources. 
The big data and analytics tools are of particular interest. Watson Health Core offers an operational data lake to store raw data in its native format until it's needed for analytics or modeling. It can also offer ETL data normalization tools for multidimensional data analysis. It has a master person index that tracks health outcomes in a single individual and also terminology services to map common vocabulary. As healthcare costs continue to rise, many are thinking about ditching the old fee-for-service traditional way of billing for healthcare and incentivizing healthier communities through population health management. So instead of being charged for each service rendered, healthcare providers are given a bulk payment to care for a discrete population. There is increased risk, so understanding this population in its entirety and identifying high utilizers of healthcare is key to keeping the providers afloat. Mercy Health has 450 health facilities in Kentucky and Ohio. They needed to transition their 147 primary care offices to a patient-centered medical home model and work with their accountable care organization to transition to bulk payment models, both signs that the health organization was progressing towards population health management. To support these initiatives, Mercy Health engaged Watson Health to use their Explorers platform replaced by their Watson Health Core in 2016 to manage populations and engage patients to meet their patient to meet their benchmark quality improvements as well as reduce the cost of care. Mercy Health felt this could only be achieved through technology that is able to glean out the right data at the right time across the entire continuum of care. Mercy chose Watson Health's cloud-based analytic solutions for reporting, clinical integration, at-risk population health care management, and cost of care measurement. Mercy Health was able to successfully meet their goals with the help of Watson Health. They successfully implemented their EMR in 15 months, a fairly short time frame. They established KPIs and metrics across all sites for consistency and quality assurance. Mercy Health was able to get near real-time data for monitoring key KPIs such as length of stay and observation rate. They completed the transition to patient-centered medical home model successfully, and their staff found Watson Health's implementation and analysis tools easy to use. Mercy is able to track quality metrics daily and are also successfully targeting high utilizers and high-risk populations to reduce unnecessary hospital admissions and lower costs. Possibly the most famous area of healthcare and Watson Analytics is the genomic sequencing and the analytics powers of Watson Health. In 2016, IBM partnered with Quest Diagnostics to give precision medicine a boost by combining the cognitive computing and abilities of Watson with tumor sequencing. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York will also add its research database, OncoKB, to the mix of patient treatment options for cancer patients. This would be the first time that genomics and precision treatment options are made widely available to physicians treating cancer across the world. Harvard and MIT are also collaborating. Essentially, the IBM Watson Genomics from Quest Diagnostics will be a database and decision-making tool that will look up the genomic sequence of the tumor and match it to real-world examples where the treatment has been successful. As Fortune mag Magazine described there in an article in 2016, quote, for example, say a patient has a rare genetically linked form of lung cancer. A generalized cancer doctor likely hasn't had the time to keep up on all the latest treatments. However, in the last year alone, there have been at least seven new lung cancer drugs made available by the FDA. That doctor may not be aware of how best to use those drugs or even if they apply to this patient." End quote. In fact, more than 160,000 cancer research papers are published a year. Unique treatment options for unique types of cancers could be hidden in new research that isn't easily accessible for treating oncologists outside of leading cancer treatment centers. Watson for Genomics is able to, in just approximately 
10,000 scientific articles and 100 new clinical trials every month, greatly adding to the pool of, of knowledge on cancer treatment. And it's accurate. Watson was tested at UNC and found 99% accurate, as well as made additional recommendations that human doctors had missed in 30% of cases. On the ground, this means that any doctor anywhere can query Watson for oncology on the iPad app if the hospital has licensed the program and they can access world-class cancer center care from anywhere. The Watson Cancer Center collaboration is what IBM hopes the future of its Watson Health AI business looks like, an all-inclusive clinical decision support tool that is built on the Watson platform. In the future, IBM hopes that it sells not only the data analytics through its cloud platform, but that it will also use that proprietary data in Watson to help transform healthcare through applications for artificial intelligence. Watson, Watson's analytic platform allows customers to upload data of their own or through pre-built connections like Twitter, Box, Dropbox, or the IBM Cognos applications. Customers can add automatic updates to the data connection. The next step is discover where IBM runs the data through Watson and find several correlating relationships. This is also where Watson looks at predictive analytics. Several pre-made discoveries are made available like the correlation between customer spending and customer satisfaction. Next, Watson offers predictive modeling for the data. Here, I looked up a predictive model for when the weather is expected to be cloudy. This was based on a predefined set of data already present in Watson Analytics. Watson allows the user to slice by different dimensions, such as time and location, and drill down on the data. The last step includes data visualization and comes with pre-made dashboards, scorecards, and reports that can be updated with data specific to the customer. In addition, Watson also offers a social media analytics platform that incorporates near real-time data analysis for social media applications. IBM's Watson certainly gained no notoriety from its early days as the ultimate Jeopardy consistent, which was probably one of the best publicity stunts for technology ever staged. However, today's world is a different reality with regard to data analytics and processing capabilities, even though that was only a few years ago. Healthcare data is among the most voluminous and complex data produced in the world today, right for big data analytics methods. Everything from grocery store purchases to the step tracker in an iPhone can yield insight into health outcomes. Progress in big data analytics make analyzing this pile of data for life-saving insights make it easier without an expensive platform like Watson Health. Incre increasing familiarity and improved tools for free, program free programming like Hadoop questions IBM's Watson's Health worse. Hadoop has the capability to store healthcare data for less and make it more easily available for free. It has great storage capacity and handling. It can also serve as a data organizer and analytics tool. In this way, Hadoop may be a more useful option, but users would require the necessary technical skills to build the data environment and analytics extracted from Hadoop, which is not an easy task. If Watson, at his core, is intended to be a data repository and use that proprietary data to make decision support tools for hospitals, then they are far advanced in this field, but not without some missteps. Watson Health's cancer tools also suffered a very public fallout at one of their early pilot sites, the University of Texas. The MD Anderson Cancer Center was initially very successful, but after the first year the program went astray with doctors and hospital officials cannibalizing the project, snubbing their own IT experts and mishandling 62 million in funding. However, not having buy-in at the top of the chain with hospital officials meant the project was doomed to fail, as are any IT projects without sufficient executive backing. Despite this setback, IBM Watson continues to roll out its cancer treatment at new facilities each year. In 2017, a new Florida facility just signed on. They are Currently the leading vendor making diagnosis and treatment support tools and announced a venture into medical imaging analysis in 2017. 
IBM continues to acquire companies with large patient data holdings to increase its vast data lake. One thing is for sure, the need is here. We need to quickly consolidate and analyze clinical trials, research, and patient data into one place. While many companies may vie for market share, ultimately the company with the most data and the best analytical power and tools will prevail. Watson sure is in the running. Here are my sources. And thanks for your time.